Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the Pegos watercolor pencils. I also have a review for the Pegos regular color pencils here. Um, I'm going to do them as two separate reviews in case you're only interested in one or the other, but I'm going to release the videos at the same time. So after you're done watching this, if you're curious about their color pencils, you can go check that out as well. Uh, I was reached out to by the Pegos company about a month and a half ago, and they asked if I'd like to try any of their products. So I looked at their website site. They're a seller on Amazon. So I looked at their Amazon listing page and um, they seem to be selling products to, I would say, kind of the um, beginner, student range, craft range. Um, they have like double tipped markers. They have uh, watercolors, kind of like the little cakes of watercolor you'd find at a craft store, that sort of thing. So kind of um, middle of the road, um, probably a step above child's products, but definitely in the student range. And so looking at all their products, the ones that I thought would be interesting to you guys, because we all are looking for inexpensive pencils, um, would be the uh, watercolor and color pencil range. So they did send those over. And I've been playing with them for the last couple of weeks, just kind of off and on, uh, swatching and sketching and drawing with them. And today I'm going to give a review. So this is how they come in a tin. The tin had a little bit of denting on it, um, but it was very minimal and um, the pencils were all fine. I've sharpened a lot of them as I was using them where I wanted a finer point. Uh, first thing I did when I got them, they're arranged in two layers here. You've got 36 in each layer. Uh, I swatched them out on some watercolor paper and I used the waffle flower swatch stamps for that. I'll try to remember to link them down below. Um, and what I did was I colored in the first two, if you look at these little um, swatching boxes, they've got these little tick marks on there. So I swat, I colored in the first two and then I took a wet brush and I wet the middle section and just faded it out. So you could see what it looked like dry colored, what it looked like with water added and then it faded out. Um, I was really impressed with how saturated the colors were, how smooth they laid down and um, the overall color range. The colors are numbered 1 to 72 and they match with the color range from the regular wax colored pencil set that I'll be reviewing in the other video. So that's interesting um, and a feature that you see in usually higher end brands where they have um, the product numbering matching across their different products. Now I don't know if these 1 to 72 color numbers, if they if they match the markers and they match the watercolor paints and all of that. I would doubt it just because of the price point of these and um, there's so many companies that um, kind of hit the ground running with like a set of pencils and a set of watercolors and a, a set of markers um, that are sourced from different com different like manufacturing houses. So I would doubt that they match across the other lines. Maybe they do, but they do. I can say for sure they do between the watercolor and the regular or wax color pencil range. So I thought that was interesting to um, uh, to mention in case you want to match things up perfectly. Um, I was pretty happy with the color selection. I was very happy with how they diluted. I didn't get any like lines where I uh, where I liquefied them. It uh, it was very impressive uh, for the price. Definitely. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet because this is the second time I'm recording this uh, because I got a little uh, uh, I just thought I got a little I don't know um, redundant in the last one. Um, these range for about 27 bucks on Amazon if you get the sets individually or they do a combo pack with the watercolor and regular pencils for 52 I think. But prices fluctuate and change so just so you know what these cost while I'm reviewing them because I do factor price into my review. If something costs $200 I'm going to expect a heck of a lot more out of it than something that costs $30. So I think that's important for you to know and also prices tend to fluctuate on Amazon and you know usually in the upper direction when a product is new it usually starts off kind of low and then it goes up uh, so I just want to know let you know what these cost at the time I'm getting them and they were sent to me for review um, so I did some artwork with these the first thing I did I'm actually gonna have a video out on this um, comparing this cherry these cherries done in watercolor pencil as well as in wax pencil um, I was really impressed with them. They laid down really well. They liquefied really well. I was able to lift up highlights. I was able to layer on top of it with with using the uh, pencils dry. And then for the brighter highlights, I could go in with, um, I actually used a Prismacolor white because that's something I always find with, um, and it's not just the budget brands, but pretty much all the budget pencil brands, their white is weak. Their white and the black are usually kind of weak. So I would recommend if you're buying 
Honestly, I find the white and black to be, definitely the white to be weak in even other professional brands. I would recommend the Prismacolor White or the Derwent Chinese White, the Derwent Drawing Chinese, Chinese White Pencil, because those really are nice and opaque and lay down on top of pretty much anything. Um, so I did use that, but other than that, that was just layering up the, uh, <clears throat> the, the colors here in the set. I was really happy with that. And then today I was, um, I was working on this one here. I was, I was curious to see how much I could layer it up doing this plum. I wanted to get that kind of waxy bloomy texture. So the first couple layers, first two layers I liquefied. And then, um, I was kind of going over and scribbling and trying to get kind of those scratchy wax bloom marks that a plum has and, um, layered up with dry pencil. And one thing that I noticed, and this was probably on layer five. So, I mean, you generally aren't layering up watercolor pencils that much, but around layer five, um, I did notice that it was really flattening out the tooth and then it didn't want to accept any more color unless I liquefied it. So that's something to keep in mind. And the other thing I want to mention, I did use a little bit of gel pen here for these little white highlights and there and there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I used some indigo, some Prismacolor indigo just for those really dark um, uh, shadows there because when you, you're using the pencils, I've noticed over a couple layers of liquefied paint, it's not grabbing quite so much of the pigment. If you're going to use it dry, it doesn't like to, it doesn't like to stick on top of too many layers of the liquefied watercolor pen pigment. So I just wanted to mention that, but, uh, but I would say like 98% of this was just those pencils there. Um, and then I did this piece here. It was a combination, the backgrounds, all the, um, so this is two layers of those watercolor pencils using black as well. The black watercolor pencil, that whole background is just two layers of these pencils. So you can get really intense and dark and rich. And the first two layers of the bird are with the watercolor pencils. And then I went over with the, the Pecos colored pencils. So that's what you can do when you mix both of the, um, of the pencils together. Now I did some highlights with some, uh, titanium white from brush and pencil, but, um, but other than that, it's, it's, uh, it's the, the Pecos pencils. I'll have a, I have a time lapse of that on my YouTube channel and I have a real time version of this on Critique Club if anyone is interested in that. Um, so they work really well together, uh, especially if you want to be very um, precise and match the colors. They're going to match perfectly. The They're also a different color. The barrels are like a dark gray here and they are a teal on the other one so you won't get them confused if you have them all out on your table at once. They are round barrels so they can roll off your table so just be careful about that. I didn't have any breakage issues. Everything sharpened pretty well. The colors don't have names, but they're all numbered. Um, I couldn't find any light fastness information on the website, which isn't that surprising being a, like a kind of a budget product. Uh, so, you know, you could do your own, light, your own light fast tests and see what fades, but I would pretty much use it for sketchbook work or card making. Um, you'd be fine to use them in a scrapbook since your scrapbook's not going to be laying open in the sunlight for a long period of time, but I probably wouldn't use them for works where you're going to display them in, you know, in bright light on the wall. Um, the, you know, I wouldn't use these for like an hour or less sketch. I probably wouldn't spend, you know, you know, a week on something and use pencils that I wasn't sure were light fast. So that would be my only caveat there. Um, I think these would be ideal for card makers because you get so many colors, they blend out very smoothly. So you could just add a little bit of color. Well, let's do a little, let's do a little demo here. Let's uh, take out some colors and I can show you exactly what I mean. So, um, so let's say you stamped a leaf and you wanted to, you wanted to shade it. You could go in with your, with your darker green where you want to shade it. Let's zoom in a little bit for that. Ooh, there we go. And then you could grab a really, really light green for your highlight. And then you could grab a mid-tone green. You could overlap the shadow. And I'm just going really quick. They lay down pretty smooth, which is nice. They they don't feel like a super soft, but they definitely lay down smooth without a lot of pressure. So you're not going to be like, you know, death grip on the pencils trying to get to trying to move them, which is nice if you have any arthritis or or anything like that. But that said, you know, if you have pencils you're happy with, if you have um, like the Derwent watercolor, if you've got the Spectrum Noir um, Aqua Blend, I think, are they called Color Blend or Aqua Blend? They're watercolor pencils anyway. If you've got the Primas, um, I think that they're all going to be very similar. Got a little smudgy or something right there. What is that? It's a little hair or something. I did find these to pill the watercolor paper. I didn't use them on regular cardstock because I usually, you know, don't use, um, use watercolors on cardstock, but they blend really well. 
We could do a little ombre blend. Let's do a little, let's do a little color wheel here. We'll do some yellow. And that's not with a lot of pressure. Let's do some red. I need to put these closer together. <laughs> You know, you can, it doesn't really give you uh, harsh lines. You could, um, you know, sharpen it and get, and get some strong lines. But I find that, you know, lay, they lay down really well. I think the big downside would be just the, um, just the light fastness, not knowing if they're light fast or not. But also they're much cheaper, like 33 cents a pencil somewhere around there. So they're going to, um, you know, you've got to kind of expect they're going to be like, more like a uh, student grade. I probably should have put more yellow down. Mixing into orange. I'm gonna, I am going to put some more yellow down just because I should have made the widest spot the yellow. Yellows are always weaker. That's a pretty strong one though. And I guess if you might, if you didn't, if you want your all your products to have color names, that might bother you if there's no color names. Beautiful blending there. I found all the colors to be pretty, I'm just going to set that there so you can see. I found the colors to all be um, pretty unique, not too many samey ones, which is something I see in the larger sets a lot of the time. Ooh, that's a pretty green. I don't know if we'll get a good purple from those two, but we'll give it a try. Hey, that's pretty good too. So that's it for three random primaries that I pulled out of the box. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby for budget pencils. So, you know, when I, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty picky when it comes to pencils, when it comes to watercolor mediums in general, why I'm real picky about watercolors. Um, I think these really check a lot of boxes. I would say the only downside is the fact that there's no light fastness information. And to be truthful, I wouldn't expect these to be light fast. So for that price, they would meet all the expectations I would have. They're very strong. You can layer them up um, quite well. I mean, not, you can definitely lift them up if you want to. Um, like I did with the cherries, you can definitely lift back to the white of the paper on most of your colors if you if you desire to do that. Um, I recommend them. I think they're a great buy if you're looking to get a present. For, now, here's the thing. They're a great buy. If you already have watercolor pencils that you like and you don't need new watercolor pencils, then, you know, you're better off to use what you have. But if you don't have watercolor pencils or you're unhappy with the watercolor pencils you have, I'd say, yeah, give it a shot. I think the, um, the best use for these is going to be for card makers where, you know, if you're your card is hung on the fridge for a couple months, it's not going to fade, but you know, if it, if it shouldn't anyway, but you know, probably not for large paintings where you're going to hang them up on the wall and um, they're going to be, you know, hung for years and years and years. They could fade quite, quite likely. I think they'd be an excellent gift for, um, for kids, for teens, uh, or people to getting started in watercolor pencils that might be afraid to go with like Albright Drawer because they're so expensive. Because sometimes that keeps people from creating. Knowing that the products you're using are really expensive, that can really uh, put the damper on creativity. Um, 30 bucks for 72 pencils. I think it's a great deal. Um, I would not hesitate to give these as a gift to my teens. Um, and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend these to anybody that wants to practice with colored pencils or any crafter that likes to make cards. You could use these with a, like one of the Tombow or Stampin' Up water soluble blender pens and like just, you know, add a little bit of color to the edge of something and blend it out with one of those water-based blender pens and get that Copic look that everybody loves and just so much cheaper. You don't have to worry about them drying out, which I love about pencils. I love that for kids. Um, so yeah, I think they're a great product and they're certainly well-priced. So if you find them for under 30 bucks, I would say they're a great deal. Um, I'll put a link to them down below and also a link to the combo kit in case you want to uh, take a look at that and perhaps get, you know, save a couple bucks by buying them both. I think with Christmas coming around, um, looking for good quality art supplies to give to your teens, your kids. Um, you know, I don't know about, I don't see non-toxic anywhere. It says I'm made in Vietnam, not for children under three. Um, it doesn't say anything about being non-toxic, but you know, I don't think your kids would, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say they don't say they're, they're non-toxic. I wouldn't expect there'd be anything to really worry about. I use this water, um, for all that plum painting and I didn't, I mean, that's how, 
dirty the water is. It's You leave most of it on your paper, which is what I like. I'll show you the artwork again that I did with these. Um, they will work well with other products too, so if you already have, like, say, some uh, some color pencils you like, you can use your watercolor pencils for your first layer, like I did here, and that way you can preserve some of the tooth of your paper by doing those first layer with watercolor pencils and diluting them, and then you can layer your regular pencils on top. Uh, or just do them with mostly just the the uh, watercolor pencils and layer them up dry. Like if you want to get that scratchy, bloomy look on top, just layer them up dry. They don't layer up dry as well as wax pencils do or oil pencils because they're not designed for that. They're not. They're more transparent. They're their beauty comes out when you add water. Um, a lot of people do like to color with watercolor pencils and not add water. Uh, adult coloring book enthusiasts. Um, I personally don't care for that. I'd much rather use a nice slick wax or oil-based pencil for that, but to each their own. If you if you like that technique, you'll probably like these. I found them to color down very smoothly, even dry. Although I probably wouldn't use watercolor pencils unless I'm going to add water. That's my personal um, personal preference. But I mean, just mixing three colors, they're vibrant, they're bright, they meet everything they promised to meet, and honestly, I think they're a little bit better than what I would expect for a pencil at this price. So there you have it. Links down below. Um, I will be putting an Amazon affiliate link in there, so if you do purchase it, I will get a uh, small commission on that. If you go through the link, I just want to let you know that. So if you want to weigh my opinion differently, knowing that um, I could earn a little money if you purchase it through that link, I want you to have that information. I also want you to know this company sent these pencils to me for free in case you want to weigh that against my opinion in case you think I might be influenced by that. Um, I don't think I am because <laughs> I've certainly re reviewed some doozies that, uh, that did not that did not get my stamp of approval. But um, hey, if you need pencils, if you're looking for a gift, I'd say yeah, go for it. I think they're a good buy. That's all I have for today. Make sure you check out the review on the other set of pencils, the wax version. I'll be posting that at the same time on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.